All right, y'all, what's up, Black Boom back with another video. 2020 Ramp Part 3 has been activated. Um, I know I'm a little bit late on this Hornet topic, right? Which I meant, I did mean to talk about this. I can't lie. Um, I did. I did mean to talk about this. But um, it's crazy as hell, which I'm sure a lot of y'all don't already saw this, um, about these little fucking Hornets. Um, and they first said, they, they said they first spotted them in Washington State. Now, now, ding, 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 ding on some shit. We already know Washington State was the first state that um, had um, the coronavirus. It, it was the first case in America in Washington State from a traveler coming from Wuhan, China. So coincidentally, this motherfucker came to Washington State and they reported the first case of the coronavirus. Yes, I did Google that shit so I can make sure I wasn't wrong. I don't talk about shit that I don't know is fact. But anyway, I'm not fucking dumb. Y'all ain't dumb. I'm sure y'all not dumb. You know, y'all watch me. You can't be dumb. But anyway, how in the hell y'all spot some fucking killer hornets in Washington State? And that was also the first state that reported a damn coronavirus. This shit got to be something else. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? in um in washington state what's going on up there do y'all got some kind of damn you know private government facility um is that where y'all thinking about just experimenting everything you want to put out into the public you know although people are not really scared of fucking killer hornets you know more scared of them killing the rest of the bees the bees that obviously pollinate plants and all that good shit you know because we are already dealing with a natural die-off of bees, honey bees, or whatever, already. So that's just like, that's like a, a crazy red flag. Like, come on, how in the hell, what kind of coincidence is that? Y'all know I don't believe in anything that, that rings off to be coincidental. It's, it just doesn't exist. That is not the way the universe was made, you know? Um, that is not the way we exist in life. We don't exist coincidentally you know things just don't happen just because like oh shit you know just like wow you know this happened here that happened here wow that's a coincidence no but anyways how the fuck does that happen in washington state like that they get the first case of the coronavirus then they get the first case of spotting killer hornets it doesn't make sense so you know they getting they they getting more blatant with the shit that they're doing to basically just attack fucking nature attack everything that we are you know um and it's working it's working you know number one you're attacking people's ore fields you're coming out with all this kind of shit you get the you get the Ahmad case you know you get the black and white shit going again you know if you think about that if you think about that that always like i said in that video that always has to be at the top of the mountain you know no matter what is going on coronavirus shit going on killer fucking hornets um trump you know doing his fucking shit you know talking hella shit all the time which sometimes that should be kind of funny i can't even lie to you um and i could give a damn rather he the president or not so if y'all ever wanted my views and thoughts and shit on trump i don't even get into all that shit i really don't give a fuck um you know but um anyway with all of this shit going on you always got to throw some fucking race shit in there between black and white people. You always got to do that shit. You always have to. And then I saw some shit where they was talking about supposedly like um, talking to the guy. Supposedly it's a guy that filmed what um, the shooting or some shit, right? But this has been over two months now. You know, y'all could have filtered that fucking video. Who the fuck, what phone in 2020 records a video in that quality? wet phone i don't give a fuck if you got a samsung j7 and i think that's actually a phone um i don't give a fuck what kind of phone you got no fucking phone today records videos and that fucking quality i know they was in the country in brunswick georgia and shout out to my country folks i'm not trying to say y'all poor y'all got y'all don't got the latest phone but still some people ain't really quite caught up you know, but anyways, even if you ain't the, you know, iPhone having kind of motherfucker, your camera gonna be pretty straight. You know what I'm saying? It looked like they put a big blurry ass filter over the video. They got the fucking, you know, tech 
tech to do anything over two months you can do anything with the fucking video anything so we can't we can't sit here and and not act like there's a lot of red flags to that situation um we can't we can't ignore that shit and and that's not even the entire well i am on a rant but it's not the entire point of this video but i just had to say that because i saw that they were like supposedly investigating the dude who shot the video um, rather or not, he was involved, and blah, blah, blah. Um, obviously, well, if y'all don't know, there really won't even be a trial or anything yet because courts and shit in Georgia are still closed. So they're just charged right now with whatever the fuck went on in that video. Um, they're charged. Doesn't mean they're going to get convicted, you know, but um, whatever, you know. So anyways, something else that was on my mind, and shout out to Enoch Freestyle Prince, um, because I had this on my mind, I promise you, about like a week ago, and I really meant to make a video about this, but um, he made a video talking about um, a lot of people using the term demon time, and y'all know I like to talk about these spirits and these demons and how we attach, how we get attachments from spirits and demons, and people don't understand the words that you use um, they can have a lot of power in both ways, you know, um, in ways by you, you know, inviting certain things into your life that are positive and in ways by you inviting shit into your life that's not so good for you, you know, negative shit, um, inviting negative people around you who also use words that invite more negative shit into your life. But anyway, you know, and it's coming from the rap game. It's coming from the industry. And I've told y'all before, you know, I do music myself. I produce, I engineer and um yeah i do my i do my shit you know kind of like rap scene type motherfucker um which i got to i got to upload a song for y'all so y'all can check it out so y'all can really get to know who i am um you know i just be on my on my video shit um i usually put all my music on instagram and uh spotify all that good shit but anyway so that term is coming from from the industry right it's coming somewhat from an artist who um who on the um new york drill scene you know, the, um, that shit is popping right now. Um, the UK drill beats, you know, the New York drill um, type songs, blah, blah, blah. So they got this main artist who used the word, um, the phrase rather, I'm on Demon Time in one of his videos. And the shit just been spreading like wildfire. You know, anytime some shit come from the industry on the rap game, everybody got to start saying they on Demon Time. They on this, on that. Anything that trends, everybody got to start using it because they think it's cool. They think it's blah, 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 you know. And there was also like a wave probably like a year or two ago when um, maybe like a little more than two years ago when XXX was popping, you know, before he died, um, got sacrificed, whatever. Um, when Trippy Red was like coming up and it was a whole bunch of other artists that just had this wave of like and all their videos and little snippets. They would just be looking evil as fuck due to do the most to look as evil as possibly, you know, as they possibly could, you know, um, and that that was a wave at one point was just looking evil, doing they eye, rolling their eyes back, doing all kind of just demon looking type shit, you know, just to basically sell an image. And um, now everybody's using the term "I'm a demon" or "I'm with my demons" or "I'm on demon time" or whatever, whatever, however they want to pit it, and not knowing what this shit actually invites into your life because you being led by a spirit you being led by demons to actually do this shit the person who started it they already have demons attached to them and the people that decide to pick up this kind of shit you decide to pick up the term you start using this shit it, it'll start coming it'll start coming out without you even knowing like you're not even sitting there like oh yeah i'm finna say i'm on demon time in the, in the video nah it just happens you just spit it out. You just blurt it out. Why? Because you done already invited that spirit into your life. You done already invited that attachment. You done invited that demon around. You know what I'm saying? The demon who probably is in charge of this shit spreading. You got to understand it's so many different spirits. It's so many different demons, you know, and this shit spreading like wildfire. Even a song that Drake just did on the Dark Lane demo tape. He got a song called Demons with the artist that started the shit. Future um, album that dropped tomorrow got a song called Demon on it. And it's just spreading even more. It's going to spread even more. 
before the shit basically kind of died down and people stopped doing it because it ain't trending no more. Everybody using it in their little videos and their stories and shit. I'm with my niggas. I'm on demon time. I'm on this. I'm on that. You know what I'm saying? Just all in a sense of thinking that it's cool. You know, when you already do shit that's not good for you on a daily, you know, you already participate in shit that invite demons and spirits around your life and leading you to do certain things, not knowing that you just saying this shit because you think it's cool is doing the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, y'all already know there's a lot of power in the tongue. So whatever you say, like I said, it's going to invite something into your life. You feel what I'm saying? And I know y'all don't seen this shit. Or if you haven't, if it hasn't been brought to your attention, now you're probably going to start to notice it because I'm telling you. And me telling you, it's going to send off that vibration and then now you're going to start seeing it. Even if you don't try and go and look for it, the next time it comes across you, it's going to register. And that's, that's why I said people not even realizing it. They're just blurting it out because it's already kind of planted in their subconscious. You see what I'm saying? So um, when I saw him make that video, I was like, oh, shit. You know, and I... I um, I shouted him out. I already said his name. He's not the Freestyle Prince. If y'all ever want to go to his page, ain't the type of motherfucker to see some shit and try to, you know, take their content or whatever the case is. I just thought it was relevant because I was actually going to talk about that shit, you know what I'm saying, um, in one of my videos. And so he just, it really kind of reminded me to talk about it to my subscribers. So, um, so yeah, you know, that's that. It is what it is. We got to get out here to nature, y'all. We got to plant our feet in the ground. You know, we got to get those positive, negative ions. We got to get that charge. We got to gather ourselves. We got to gather our energy. You know, um, let's be one with nature again. Um, separate yourself from the bullshit, you know. And uh, yeah, Black Bloom, I'm out.